Hello friends. Today I'm going to tell you a story. The story is The Three Little Pigs. Now you might have heard this story before. I have heard it before many times. I've heard it told many different ways. And so every time I hear the story, I get ideas about how I can tell it. And from all those ideas of the different versions I hear, plus some ideas that I make up in my own mind, I created my own version. And here it is, The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and they lived in a sweet little cottage in the countryside with their father. One day their father said to the, to the three little pigs, daughters, come here. You have gotten big and I think it's time that you go off on your own and build houses of your own. The first little pig said, oh dad, that's a great idea. And she thought, how will we build these houses? So she asked her dad and he said, I think you need to buy some materials and build your own houses. So to the first pig, he gave a bag of gold coins. And to the second pig, he gave her a bag of gold, gold coins too. And to the third pig, he also gave a bag of gold coins. Now each of the three sisters took their bag of gold coins and looked inside and found that there were 10 gold coins in their bags. So they each had 10 gold coins. And so they took the, that bag and they, they put it in a suitcase with their clothes and their other things they wanted to take with them. And they gave their dad a hug and said, bye dad, we love you, we'll come back and visit. And they walked down the road, all three of the sisters together. Now the three little pigs reached the town and decided they would go to the store to look for materials to build their houses. Now the first little pig, she was looking around the store, what can I use to build a house? When she spotted, some chocolate candies. She said, hmm, I know I can't build a house out of chocolate candies, but I'd like to eat some. So I'm not gonna spend all my money. I'm gonna save a little bit of my money and buy some chocolate candies. So she looked around to see what else she could find and she saw some bales of straw. They only cost two gold coins for a bale of straw and she thought, I'll buy that. So she take, took two gold coins, one, two, and she paid for her bale of straw. And that means of her 10 gold coins, one, two, she had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold coins left over. And she took those eight gold coins and with them, she bought a lot of chocolate candies. She went out of the store and went to go build her house. She looked around for a nice spot for her house. She found one and she started to build. She took the straw and she tied it together and she made a little roof and she built the house and it only took her a couple of hours. And when she was done, she went into her house. She opened up her bag of chocolate candies and she started eating and she felt so happy. Now, the second little pig was looking around the store for what she should build, use to build her house. She saw the straw and she thought, ooh, that's probably not strong enough. And then she saw some sticks. Ooh, sticks might make a good strong house, she thought. Uh, how much are the sticks? She said to the store clerk and he said, well, they are three gold coins per bundle. She thought, well, let me, let me buy one bundle and another bundle and then I'll have a little money left over and I can buy some snacks. So she gave, she bought two bundles. So how much did it cost? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So she paid six, one, two, three, four, five, six gold coins. She paid for her two bundles of sticks. Now that meant one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many gold coins did she have left? Four. And with those four gold coins, she decided she'd buy some snacks. She bought a bag of popcorn, a bag of peanuts, and a bag of pretzels. So she took her bundles of sticks and her snacks and she went off to find a spot to build her house. She found a good spot and she started building. It was hard work. She was nailing the sticks together and tying them up and making walls and making a roof and it took her all day to build her house but finally at the end of the day she was finished. She went inside and she was so tired she didn't even have time to eat her snacks that night. She fell fast asleep. She ate the snacks the next day. Now the third pig she was in the store looking around for what she would use to build her house. She saw the straw 
she thought, mm, yeah, no, that's not strong enough. She saw the sticks and she said, that might be good, but I need something really strong to build my house. And then she saw bricks. Yeah, that's it, she said to herself. How much are the bricks, she asked the store clerk. And he said, oh, the bricks aren't, the bricks are kind of expensive. 10 gold coins for a full wheel, for a full wheelbarrow load of bricks. She thought, okay, well, I have 10 gold coins and I want to build a strong house. So she counted out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gold coins. So how many gold coins did she have left? Zero. She paid for the bricks. She put, she got the wheelbarrow full and it was a lot of bricks and she had to oh, carry it and wheel it. She looked for a spot in the country to build her house. She found a nice spot. She unloaded the bricks. She brought the wheelbarrow back to the store, said, thank you. She went back to her pile of bricks and by then she was so tired that she couldn't even start building her house that day. She fell asleep right there on the ground and slept under the stars, the night sky above her. The next morning she woke up and she started working on her house. She built and she built her house all day. And by that night, she wasn't even finished yet. So she had to sleep under the stars yet again. She woke up the next morning. That was the second day. She kept building. And by that night, she still wasn't finished. It takes a lot of work to build a house made of bricks. So she had to sleep under the stars yet again. And the third day, she worked hard all day and finally she finished her house. And when she looked at it, she thought, that's a good house, I feel satisfied. It was a lot of work, but it's a good, strong house. And she went inside. Now, in that part of the country, there lived a big, bad wolf. And on this particular day, the wolf was walking along the road and he was feeling very hungry and he smelled something in the air and he said, mm -hmm. I smell pigs. And then he saw a house and it was a house made of straw. So he went up to the house made of straw and he knocked on the door and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the pig inside the straw house saw the wolf and said, Oh no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. And the wolf said, Fine, then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. And the little pig trembled with fear, and the house shook as the wolf blew, and the house shook more. And finally, the, all the straw toppled down right on top of the little pig. Luckily, she had time to run out the back of the, of the house and the wolf did not find her. He looked around in the straw, but he couldn't find her. She ran to her big sister's house, the house made of sticks, and went inside. <sighs> now the wolf, he was not happy that he had not eaten the pig and he was feeling even more hungry. So he followed the scent of that pig and walked along the road when he finally saw a house made of sticks. And in it, he smelled pig. So he went up to the door and knocked. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the two little pigs said, oh no, not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, we won't let you in. And the wolf said, fine then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed and he puffed and the sticks began to wobble and the sticks began to shake. And at first it seemed like maybe they were gonna hold strong, but then they toppled down on top of the two pigs and they barely had time to scurry out the back and run away before the wolf came and started looking through the sticks. The wolf was very disappointed that he did not have pig to eat. He followed the scent of the pigs for they had, ran, they had run off to their big sister's house, the house made of bricks. And he followed the scent to the house made of bricks. And when he arrived, he could smell pig very strongly for inside there were three little pigs. And he knocked on the door and he said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And they said, oh no, not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, we won't let you in. 
And the wolf said, fine then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the pigs were trembling with fear and the wolf was huffing and puffing and huffing and puffing. But the house made of bricks was very strong and it didn't wobble or shake at all. The wolf puffed and puffed until he was all out of breath and he was feeling very frustrated and also very hungry. He looked back at that house and he went, well, if I can't blow it down and I can't get through the door, I'll go in through the chimney. And he smiled a very evil smile. Now the pigs thought maybe he'd do this. Maybe he'd come in through the chimney. So they built a quick fire with logs and sticks on, in the chimney and they put on top of the fire a big, huge pot and filled it with water. And they decided let's make some soup while we're at it. So they cut up some carrots and celery and potatoes and they put it into the boiling water. And soon the water was very hot and boiling and the little cottage was starting to smell and the little brick house was starting to smell so good. But they could hear footsteps on the roof for the wolf had gone up on top of the roof. And he went, ha, 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 I'm gonna have some pigs for dinner. And he jumped down the chimney. And right as he was doing that, the pigs took the lid off of the pot and the wolf fell right into the pot of hot water and the pigs quickly put the lid back on and the wolf was trapped inside and the wolf got cooked into the vegetable soup. So instead of having vegetable soup for dinner that night, the pigs had wolf stew. Now friends, I'm gonna tell you that this version of the Three Little Pigs that I tell is what I call a gruesome version. That means it's a little bit bloody. It's a little bit violent. Some bad things happen. Some stories are like that. Some stories are gentle, or some versions are gentle. You might read a book of the three little pigs where nothing really bad happens. No one really gets hurt and that's called a gentle version. But sometimes there's versions that are gruesome. And mine is a little bit gruesome. So the, the wolf gets put into the soup and cooked. So that night, the pigs had a delicious dinner of wolf stew. And they all three lived in that brick house together, very pleased that there was a nice, good, strong house made of bricks for them to live in. And of course, the wolf never bothered them again. The end. So that was my version of the three little pigs. I think that that would make a pretty good drawing. If you'd like to go and draw that story right now, That'd be pretty fun. You could draw the house made of straw or the house made of bricks or the house made of sticks. You could draw the wolf huffing and puffing. You could draw the wolf coming down the chimney or the wolf going into the pot of soup and becoming wolf stew. You could draw the pigs counting out their gold coins and buying materials. You get to decide what you wanna draw, but there's a lot of good ideas. You could also tell your own version of the three little pigs. You can decide if your version is gonna be gentle or gruesome. You can decide all sorts of things about your own version. When you hear lots of different ways of telling the story, you get ideas and you get to tell it your own way. I'm really excited for you to draw this. I'm also excited to hear your own versions of the three little pigs that you can tell me.